Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Then we come to the DA sanding uh, sander. Okay, DA means dual action. And what we're gonna do, okay, this is another procedure that you can use, okay, and this is the procedure I use uh, instead of hand sand. Once I'm done with 1500, I use my DA sander. Now, I was telling you about DA sanders. It's very important. Let me go get the other sander. I'm gonna show you the difference. Okay, we have two DA sanders here, okay? This is an industrial use sander, okay, that you would use for Bondo, or DA sanding the primer, or DA sanding the old paint off. Okay, this is not the type of DA sander that you wanna use for color sanding, okay? The reason why is because of the high speed, okay, and the high torque that this puts out, it will literally rip your clear on your car up, okay? I got it sitting on a rag because I wanted to show you, okay, this is the most common DA sander that you're going to see, all right? And I use, that's 36 grit, so we will not be using that on the car here. But the dual action sander that we will be using is called a palm sander. This is a finish sander. This is not just used for wet sanding, but it's also used for your fine touch sanding before you prime your car or after you prime your car. Maybe a spot sand before you paint the car. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you can always tell the difference because it fits in the palm of your hand. Uh, this brand here is a very high-tech brand. Okay, I'm going to show it to you real quick like. All right. And it's actually called a finish DA sander. This is the sander we are going to use. If you look real close, you can see that the pad I use, okay, is a hook it pad, which is used for our foam pads. So what you want to do is take your foam pad, okay, and you want to go ahead and hook it on here. Once again, there are different brands you can buy. Uh, different. Everybody has a different way of doing it. This is the way that I like to do it, and this is the way that I'm going to stick with. So I'm going to start out with 2,000. Let me put this away. Now I want you to pay attention. This is 2,000, and you can hear that it's sanding my hand. Okay. So those go a long way. I actually used that on another car, and I kept it. These are very expensive as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to plug our sander in, just like you see, okay? Then we're going to dip it in the water. We're going to get our sponge. Then we're going to turn it on high speed. I want you to pay attention to the way that I'm going back and forth and back and forth. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going in circles or angles. All right, I'm doing it very quickly and very uniform. done with 2,000. Okay. I'm going to squeegee that off to show you. I'm going to squeegee a section off and show you how smooth that is. Okay. So now if you look at the finish, okay, from sanding it with the DA sander or by hand, okay, you can see we're starting to get a little bit of a glisten in it. All right. I don't even know. Okay. It's starting to show a sheen okay and you can see that it's all uniform and even there's no more trash in it there's no more orange peel and it really starting to look nice but hold on right there we're not done yet because what I'm gonna do okay what I'm gonna do to really kick this in that's gonna save me a lot of time and a lot of money okay I'm gonna go ahead and take my 2,000 off and now I'm gonna go ahead and put 4,000 Taking it down to 4,000 is actually polishing the clear. If you look at my hand, you can see my reflection. I want you to pay attention, 
when I get done sanding it with 4000, I want you to look at the gloss that this already has and the time and expense of buffing compounds that you're going to save taking it to 4000. One more thing I'd like to add, when using a DA sander such as this to sand, okay, to wet sand, uh, always keep in mind this is very, very fine quality sandpaper and you want to use pressure as you're sanding. Okay, you want to make sure that you're pushing down, not pushing down where you're actually bending the panels, but you do want to use a lot of hand pressure so it will get into it and actually polish the finish for you. Okay. Squeegee this off and let it dry, and I want you to look at the finish just from DA sanding that with 4000. I can feel the finish feels like glass. If you listen real close, you can't even hear the squeegee going across the panel. Now, if you look at our door when I run my hand across it, okay, you can see. You can see my hand like it's already buffed out. You can see my arm, okay? The finish of this, if you could be able to touch that, is like liquid plastic, okay? It's like a piece of plastic that just came out of the mold, all right? Wet sanding your vehicle to be color sanded and buffed is the most important step to doing the job right. Uh, always remember that the first sand job that you do to it, which is your initial 1500 or if you have to use 1200 okay is the most important sanding of the whole job once you get it down to 2000 and 4000 you're pretty much downhill uh, we'll be back I'm going to show you how to buff that and always remember everything that I'm doing on this panel applies to any type of painted surface okay that you want to color sand and buff I would like to mention though this is base coat clear coat uh, acrylic enamel or single stage paint is very hard to buff due to the fact that it doesn't have a clear coat protective on top of it. That means when you color sand it, okay, if it's got a lot of metallics in it or a lot of pearls, you're actually color sanding the paint, okay? So if you're painting a single stage paint, this does not apply to that. Single stage paint is basically uh, a paint and go, okay? You don't buff it, you don't do nothing. You wash it off real good and you wax it, all right? Single stage paints are usually used on quickie paint jobs such as Mako or Earl Shibes. Or maybe you just want to paint your tractor or you want to paint, uh, you know, your little tricycle that you had when you were, you know, three years old and uh, you want to make it look nice to put up on your top shelf and to remind you of the good old days, all right? If you want a top notch professional job, base coat, clear coat. The steps that I'm showing you is not for single stage paint. We'll be back to buff. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.